Why'd that look weird? Now, are we hitting a stop? Welcome back, everybody. I bet you remember that old girl. Still, no decision on it. But anyways, here we go. We got a very old tailor that I need to rebuild the mast on. So, what we're gonna do is work on getting the carriage out today. Um, I don't even know what the size of this thing is. Give you some comparison though. She not little. I was trying to see what the uh, capacity is. 52,000 pound capacity. Uh, the weight of the machine is 72,150. Uh, 72, so, you know, she's light. Yeah, so here's the goal. We're going to uh, undo the chains, use the my crane to support the weight. I'm gonna set it down over top of the carriage here, and we should be able to lift the mast up. The carriage should stay right there. Uh, here we go, we're getting the the chains out. You can see these are little guys. So we're gonna get these links knocked out of here. I'll get this supported first before we do any of that. Okay. Got the got the chain anchor loose here. So there's your chain, and we're gonna let it the, let it down with the crane. Down just a tiny bit. And we'll swing out. Whoops, wrong way. We'll go down, it should flop right out of there. Just like that. Bring it over there. Got all our hoses off. Capped off and marked over here. Electrical undone, that was super fun. Had to find the data cables for the camera. It was uh, inside this piece of conduit, so that was really cool. All right, so we're gonna lift this guy off here. Hopefully don't die. Slightly creative. I had these blocked up so I could slack the chains when I got them off, and that ends up being that the carriage was too high because you have to lift this rail above this roller, and it was just enough I couldn't do it. But as you see, there we go. We are away now. I had to get a few jacks out and some blocks. Stuff's heavy. Glad I got a nice counterweight to keep this in place. You know, it's used for something now. All right, we are getting ready to pull out that master rail right there. The bearing exploded. You know, because that's all that's left of it right there. So my goal is to pull this rail out. I'm gonna use this 
uh, 4060 rigging truck. Pull it out. It's gonna be fairly tight on tolerances. And you may think that I can't clear that from there to there based on this distance. I'm gonna show you how we can verify that. So right now, I have everything at max lift, high as it goes. And I'll measure from the bottom of this carriage to the ground at its highest point. And just got that measured. It's about 105 inches from the ground to that piece right there. that's touching we'll measure where our carriage is at and that's about 10 inches so I guess it's about 90 inches to play with so now we'll measure from there to there because I gotta be able to get that out that's about 66 inches I have about uh, 29 inches, so a little over two feet. So when I pull this out, I should have approximately two feet to work with rigging wise. So I gotta rig it pretty tight. I'm gonna rig up this piece right here to this shackle right here. And we're gonna pluck it out of there. At least that's the goal. Alrighty, we got our rigging. Now, you have to imagine my eyelet is going this way and this hook right here is going this way. So if I was to just chain it like that, it would want to twist when it came out. So I put a shackle on there so that way my lifting point on both sides is in the same plane so it doesn't want to twist. And then I put zip ties on there to prevent the chain from slipping off and my nut from coming off that shackle. So, here we are, ready for our lift. Go ahead. So far, so good. So as you may recall, in the beginning of the video, we had a little uh-oh moment. That's because right here, there's some rear thrust rollers, and then there's some side uh, thrust rollers to keep the mass square when going up. Those have to be removed in order for them to pass each other as you pull the rail up and out. I didn't get footage of that part, but drew with some arrows there to hopefully help you understand. You're out. Keep going. I just max out your lift. Huh? I just max out your lift so you know you have enough room. Okay, you're free, come back. So we had to cut these off because I couldn't get one of the races off. And this bearing over here I couldn't get off, so I had to cut it off too. I got most of the bearing off, but I had to cut the inner half off. It wouldn't wouldn't come off. So yeah. Got to play torches at least a little bit. Now I gotta do a little cleanup. And then we got our nice new rollers here. All right, new bearings on. And 
Up we go. So we got our mass roller bearings rebuilt. We got our uh, rear uh, our rear mast thrusts for the inner rail. Those are on. I have to put the back thrusts on yet. I'm gonna repack them. Uh, the big bearings, they're in, greased, ready to go. Yeah, you can see, got the new ones in, those guys. Uh, I asked the customer if they wanted to replace these. There should be shields there. They're gonna wear out pretty quick getting full of crap Since they have shields on them. And I was gonna repack these for them But anyways, at least this part is done <laughs> 